Hey guys, in this short video, I want to talk to you about how Macuna Prians can help lower prolactin and therefore help with male pattern baldness or the so-called androgenic alopecia. So elevated levels of prolactin is something I talk about a lot here on the YouTube channel in relationship to the pathogenesis of hair loss, specifically male pattern and female pattern baldness, also known as androgenic alopecia. And it's something I talk about in depth very, very thoroughly in our Forever Healthy Hair course, as well as tips that I give you as to how to correct elevated levels of prolactin through diet, lifestyle, and various herbs. And one particular herb that's incredibly helpful for lowering prolactin is Macuna Purians. Now, before I talk about how Macuna actually lowers prolactin and dive into the research, I just want to quickly recap how it is exactly that prolactin can contribute to hair loss by taking a look at this study, which talks about the general hair growth inhibiting effects of prolactin. Basically, this study finds that the hair follicle itself is a receptor to prolactin in that when scalp prolactin levels are high, this can actually push the hair follicle into a catagen or a shedding phase. And this might explain why in hypothyroidism, people experience diffuse thinning because prolactin, which is also referred to as the molting hormone in birds, because it can actually shed the feathers, can actually shed human hair. More often than not, in hypothyroid people, prolactin levels are elevated because the thyroid hormone as well as dopamine tend to keep prolactin elevated. So if thyroid hormone is low, prolactin tends to be high, and this again can push the hair follicle into this catagen or shedding phase. Very similarly to the way that when a bird, like a chicken, is stressed out, it starts to shed or molt its feathers. Now there's other studies that talk about the strong correlation between elevated levels of prolactin and hair loss like this one, as well as this one here, which shows the correlation between the pathogenesis of androgenic alopecia or male pattern baldness and PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. In both of these conditions, there are known elevated levels of prolactin and in men, it's contributing to hair loss or androgenic alopecia. And in women, it's a known contributing factor to PCOS. So the more specific physiological mechanisms behind prolactin's inhibitory effect on hair growth comes back to the fact that prolactin as a stress substance, something that rises under stress, is inhibitory to the overall production of energy in the body. And since the hair follicle is highly demanding of energy and has a very sensitive metabolic rate, when prolactin interferes with the hair follicle's ability to get adequate energy, it naturally is going to fall out. So it's through its inhibitory effect on systemic energy production and specifically the energy production in the hair follicle. So this is the major way in which prolactin likely contributes to hair loss and why it is seen to be elevated in things like androgenic alopecia or male pattern baldness. So naturally keeping your prolactin levels in check would be a smart and worthy goal for anybody dealing with any sort of hair loss, especially diffuse thinning in women and androgenic alopecia or male pattern baldness in men. And there are many different ways in which you can go about doing this. Now the thing I'm going to recommend is that ideally you check out the Forever Healthy Hair course which goes into detail talking about all of the various mechanisms behind prolactin's inhibitory effects and all of the various things, very everyday normal things that might be contributing to elevated levels of prolactin that you're not aware of. So there are very simple things that cause elevated levels of prolactin and sometimes people with good intentions, uh, oftentimes health conscious people are doing these things thinking that it's benefiting them, but it's actually just contributing to higher levels of prolactin. But getting back to the feature herb of this video, now that we understand how prolactin contributes to hair loss and the inhibition of good hair growth, let's talk about how Macuna Purians actually can help lower prolactin levels. So studies like this clearly indicate that Macuna Purians, through its dopaminogenic effects actually inhibit levels of prolactin. So it's very clear that Macuna does lower prolactin levels. And how it does it is by actually acting as a dopamogenic herb, meaning that Macuna increases dopamine. And one of the natural regulators of prolactin is dopamine. So oftentimes in conditions of hyperprolactinemia or sky high levels of prolactin, there is accompanying dopamine deficiencies. So what I'm getting at is people that have high prolactin levels often have an underlying imbalance, which is low dopamine levels. And Macuna is one of the best herbs, one of the only herbs I know of that has such a profound ability to increase the production of dopamine. 
There are many other dopamine boosting herbs that we talk about here on the channel. For example, Hosha Wu and Ginkgo Biloba are two amazing herbs that increase the production of dopamine, which would naturally lower prolactin. But the clinical research around Makuna's ability to not just increase dopamine, but also prolactin is incomparable to anything else that I've seen. So if you're somebody struggling with any sort of hair thinning, hair loss, then I would highly recommend checking out your prolactin levels. Keep in mind that like thyroid testing and other tests, the numbers are a bit skewed. So a lot of the standards for good health today, they're skewed numbers. So you might wanna do a bit more research. Uh, again, I would just recommend checking out the Forever Healthy Hair course to get a more a proper and adequate approach to checking your hormonal levels and other things to look for. Because very often people go get their thyroid check, their prolactin check, and their numbers are considered healthy and good. But again, these numbers change over time. So the standard for health ultimately decreases. So more than just checking your prolactin levels, if you're experiencing any sort of diffuse thinning or hair thinning whatsoever, then it's highly probable that your prolactin levels are high, your stress levels are high, and that's a better indicator. But if, again, you wanna learn more about the various parameters to check and things you can do to know whether or not your thyroid's working, if you have good dopamine levels, if your prolactin's out of whack, and how to correct those things, again, definitely check out the Forever Healthy Hair course, which is a wonderful resource of information in regards to all of those things and more. Otherwise, if you know that you have elevated levels of prolactin, let's say you suffer with polycystic ovarian syndrome, if you're a woman, and diffuse thinning, or if you have hypothyroidism and it's known, or you're experiencing hair loss, and you're looking for a simple way to lower that prolactin, I would highly recommend utilizing the powerful dopamogenic abilities of Makuna Prurians. And that just brings me to one and last final announcement, which is that we actually have just started to carry a Makuna Prurians extract, of course, high quality, like everything else that we carry. And we're about to release it on the Tonic Herb Shop very shortly. So I figured I'd make a little video about it to highlight some of its major benefits, at least for our audience, and let everybody know to keep their eyes peeled for that product. Again, it should be coming out very soon within the next couple of days. So if you've been interested in supplementing with it, or if this is the first time you're hearing about it and you wanna try it out, just stay tuned and check back on our Tonic Herb Shop or Instagram regularly. Otherwise, that does bring this video to a close. If you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos if you haven't yet already. And of course, for learning more, for additional information and resources, be sure to check out our blog, Tonic Herb Shop, and online wellness academy in the description box below.